Hey guys, this is Nessie. And welcome to part one of the Final Fantasy XIV Team Craft Beginner's Guide. This video is going to be going over the general layout of the site, how to get logged in, and how to import your characters into Team Craft. You're going to want to stick around for that last one. Importing your character opens up a lot of powerful tools. The first thing we're going to do is go to the website. There will be a link in the description below. This will land you on the search page by default. On the left side of the screen, there is a list of tools available on the site. We will get into each one of these tools in a later video. In the middle of the screen are quick links to bring up some of the most used tools. The bell on the right side is where your alarms are located. Clicking on this will bring up a list of alarms that you have set. More on that in a later video as well. Now you need to make an account. In the upper right hand corner of the screen, there should be a green square that says Anonymous. You're going to hover over that square and go to Registration. Once there, sign up for the site using whichever email you prefer. You're going to need to sign in once you make your account. It does not automatically log in for you. After signing in, it should bring you to this screen, asking for your character information. Go ahead and put your server name and character name in the boxes. It also gives you the option of using the Lodestone ID. If you know what that is, you can use it instead. This is the character I'm going to attach to this account. Click OK, and you can see at the top right that it is logged in. Now you're going to go to your profile. You can see it has all the crafter and gatherer jobs here. While on the profile page, next to your character name, there is a button that says Verify. This is our next step. Click on this, and another window should pop up saying you need to copy a code into your Lodestone profile biography. Copy that code, and head over to the Lodestone. Once you log in on the Lodestone, click the character you want to link to the TeamCraft site. Then click on the arrow next to the character profile. At the bottom center of the screen, before you scroll down, you're going to see an icon that looks like a pencil. Click on that, and it allows you to edit your biography. Take the code you copied from the TeamCraft site and paste it into the biography and hit confirm. One quick thing to note, you do need to copy the quotations with the code. This will not work without them. Once you've copied your validation code onto the lodestone, go back to TeamCraft and hit the validate button. Should give you a message saying this character is verified. You can now close the pop-up. You can also remove the code from your lodestone profile if you'd like to, it's up to you. Then X out of the character verification box and the validate button is gone. These last couple of steps are pretty tedious, but essential for being able to use the crafting functions of this site properly. We are now going to select our master books, our folklore books, and our crafter gatherer levels and stats. If you are not an omni crafter or gatherer, you can skip over the classes you don't have. First, let's set our books. Click on the icon on the left side of the center column. For crafters, this will bring up all of the master books you have for that class, as well as the Demi Materia and Glamour's books. Select the ones you have, don't select the ones you don't. If you have them all, you can click the Select All Results, and it will automatically add all of them. Hit Save, and you're done. We have to do this for each and every class. Once you're done with the master books, it's time to set our levels and stats. The easiest way to do this is to have the game open, remove any food buffs, droughts, potions, and FC buffs if you're able to. You want your raw stats with the gear that you're wearing. Click on the button on the right side of the center column and input all of the stats from your character sheet in game into the appropriate areas. This is where Omni pays off. If all of your crafters are maxed and wearing the same gear, you can click save for all crafters and it will automatically apply your stats to each job if this is the case i recommend setting the initial stats on a non-specialist this will copy the base stats for every crafter and then you just have to go to your specialist and click the checkbox and it will automatically add the extra specialist stats with that completed your team craft is now set up the next video in this series you won't want to miss even if you haven't touched a crafting class we will be going over the search feature and lists. Click on the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when the next video drops. One extra thing, if you would prefer to use the desktop application, you can download it from the main page. Because your TeamCraft account is linked to your Lodestone page, 
you do not have to set everything up again. There are a few extra things that the desktop app can do, and I will go over those in another video in this series. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. If you didn't, let me know in the comments what I can do better for the next one. As always, this is Nessie. Take care of yourself.